Hi guys, welcome back to Ras Aquaculture. As you might know, aeration is actually very important for the growth of shrimps or crabs. As you might know, increasing aeration will always mean increasing the amount of oxygen that you have in the systems. So in this video, I'll be going through that one of the root blower modifications that you can do with your, any of the root blowers that you have to increase the speed and the motor size by increasing the output. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. For those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we produce weekly content on shrimp farming and mud crab farming, either using Biofloc technology or RAS systems. So do like and subscribe if you like our videos so that you'll get a weekly notification on our latest information. So one of the first steps in modifying your root blower, so this is how your root blower might actually look like. So one of the key steps is when you're deciding to change out to a faster or stronger motor, what you will do is have probably have to modify the base or the platform below in which it supports uh, the motor, which you can see over here. All right. So this base, you know, you can normally make it out of mild steel, so not too difficult, some channels or some angle bars. Okay, and the first thing is to make sure that the new motor mount is actually the same as before. So this is a very important consideration is because once you buy a root blower, it's very likely that it comes with a standard motor, for example, 2 or 5 or even 10 horsepower motor. So once you switch it over to another uh, brand of motor, which might be faster or bigger, you need to make sure that the base are, are compatible. So you probably have to make a manufacture a new base in which this new motor can sit on. Okay, so what are the differences in this newer motor? So actually for this newer motor, we're using a Teco motor and it's actually running at the lower RPM, okay, 1450. So how do you know what's the RPM uh, on the motor itself? The first thing is to look at the number, the nameplate on the number. So it usually writes how many RPM it is. And usually your blower will have to turn in a certain RPM in which I'll later show, pull up a chart uh, for you to take note. So what you can change by changing motors is the amount of pulley size. So as you can see, although these two motors are a bit different, what we can do is to change the pulley size so that it can turn the blower in a consistent manner, irregardless of the different motor size. Or you might have a scenario in which you are trying to turn the blower a bit faster and you can make this pulley slightly a bit smaller on the blower side. So how can you actually get this information? So one of the good ways is to, for example, check the motor power requirement based on the output of the blower. So you can see that the column on the yellow column says that the RPM of the motor, and at different pressures, what is the horsepower or shaft power that's required? And usually the motor power is usually 30% of the shaft power. So you can see that any standard root blower, you can actually modify or change the pulley to run at a higher speed, but of course there will be an optimal range. So after you've decided on the motor and the pulley size and the speed and output, what you need to do is to install it back properly, right? So this is where you make sure your tensioning of the belt is correct and you also have to make sure that your electrical wirings are all correct in case you don't get a reverse in direction. So this is a, well, two common problems that we typically have once you're switching into a newer motor. So you need to make sure that these tools are okay and when you assemble back, it's all alright which is very important to ensure the lifespan of the motor. And before you commission it, you might want to be actually cleaning out a lot, suction side, a lot of dirt in case your blowers have been running for some time as well. Okay, so guys, those this is a few methods in which how you can change the output of the blower by changing the motor, changing the pulley size. But of course, there will be a natural range in which your pulleys or which your um, root blower runs at maximum, so you need to optimize on that. So that's all for this video guys. If you like our content, do like and subscribe and I hope to see you back again at RS Aquaculture.